Station 9. Water and energy. Varying between 294 meters and 3,479 meters in altitude, producing an elevation difference of around 3,200 meters, the Pasa River is fed by a catchment area totaling over 400 kilometers. The water levels at the start of the summer are at their peak, when the melting snow is combined with heavy rains. This is when the flow rate of the waters passing through Meran along the Pasar can exceed 10 meters to the third power a second. In other words, the water flow in just one second is comparable to the average amount a family of four would consume in a month. As it passes through the narrow gap at the Gilf Gorge at peak flow, the speed of the waters increases further as they take on a turbulent, swirling motion in which an astonishing amount of energy is released. The force of the watercourse has shaped the landscape, at times hollowing out the bedrock. As the current slows down, it loses momentum and sediment is deposited along flatter tracts of the riverbed, creating large fluvial deposits. These comprise smooth, rounded pebbles shaped by the force of the current, such as Meran's 100-meter alluvial plain, as well as deposits from the glacier. The amount of erosion caused by the river is also noticeable by observing the rocks on either side of the Gilf Gorge, which have deep hollows and are perfectly rounded by these fast-moving waters in the rapids. Water power has long been tapped from these mountain torrents and rivers over the centuries and has been the main driving force for powering water mills, sawmills, and other machinery in countless small workshops and factories in the region. Water as a source of power dates back to antiquity, with the first water-powered paddles and bucket wheels dating back to the second century BC. It is hard to underestimate how crucial this discovery was in the development of human civilization, especially at a time when man could literally only rely on his own manpower, that of animals, or the wind. Spreading rapidly after the 19th century, electrical power almost completely replaced water as an energy source, although hydroelectric power is still used to generate electricity. <laughs>